friends. It's good to see you again. Today we're gonna to do a fun art project because there's a really fun holiday coming up in a couple weeks. It's in the month of February and it's a special day that we let all the people in our family and our friends that we really love and care about, we let them know that we love and care about them. And that day is called Valentine's Day. So today we're gonna to make a heart that we could give to someone that we love. This heart is going to be a woven paper heart. We've been learning about weaving in the fifth grade this year, and now I'm gonna teach it to some of the other students at our school, not just the fifth graders. We're gonna learn about weaving and how to weave. This is one of the hearts that is woven with paper. And here's another one. And here's another example. So we have several different examples but it kind of looks hard, but it's not too hard. Just follow along with me, and I'm sure you'll know how to do it right away. Okay, friends, the first thing you need to do is choose what color of heart you want. I've printed off three different colors that you can choose from. Red, purple, and then this really bright pink. So you can choose which color you'd like to start with. I'm gonna do red, I think. So when you get your red heart, or your heart, whatever color it is, and you cut it out from the black line. All right, once you have your heart cut out, you notice these lines in the middle? Well, we have to cut these lines, and the easiest way to make them nice and even is to fold your heart in half, exactly matching the edges as the best that you possibly can so that you have your heart folded right in the middle. And then press it down so you have it folded right in half, and then take your scissors and just cut these lines. Make sure you stop when you get to the end of this line. If you cut it too far out here, it will, it might, there's a chance that it might rip the, out to the edge, which we don't want that to happen. So take your scissors, cut carefully on the line. And hopefully it's looking pretty even on the other side too. It might not be exact, but it looks good. Be especially careful with this line because it's really close to the edge. All right, once you get your lines cut, you open it up. And I have, you're going to need five one inch wide strips of colored paper with patterns on it. This is called scrapbook paper and I have a lot of it already pre-cut for you. These pieces are one inch wide one inch this way by six inches tall. So if you're cutting your own, you want to own, you'd want to cut one inch by six inch. So you're going to need five pieces and you can make them match or you can have five completely different pieces. I kind of coordinated these. I have three with the roses and three with the swirls. I'm going to take my first piece and starting that, see on the front, so what you do, you go, also you can use the front of your heart where you can see the lines, or if you'd rather turn it over where you don't see any of the printer lines, you could do that too. All right, I'm going to put this under the first slit, over, under, and that's all that you're gonna do on this one, and I know it's too long, so, I'm gonna just trim this so that it looks like it has a square up here at the top. I'm gonna cut it like right here. Then that's the first piece. Then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna alternate. So I'm gonna do this one. And instead of starting, um, remember how I started under this? I'm gonna go from the back of my paper, back here, I'm gonna go through that slit. See, I'm starting on the back side through the slit, over, under that one, and then over this one. 
And now I can go to this bottom slit because this will fit and I'm gonna go under. So every other one I went through the slit here, over, through, and then under, then through, then over. See, it's the opposite of this one, see? Okay, now we're gonna do, all the roses are gonna be the same, you do them the same, so I'm starting on top of the paper, on top of the heart, then I'm going through the slit, under, through that one, over, under, over. This is your very middle piece, so you kind of slide these over close together. I'll trim these when I'm done. All right, the next one, this is gonna be the same as this one. So we're gonna start on the back of the heart and go through the slit, over, under, through, over, under. All right, slide it over so it's nice and tight over there. You can look at the back, you're also getting a pattern on the back of white and red, see that? Then, one more rose piece. And this one, remember, starts on the top of the heart and goes through the slit. And then only through here, because there's not a bottom one to go through. All right, so right now I have some pieces that are too long. But I'm gonna trim those. Make this a square right here. Make this a square. And then I'm gonna turn this over and trim these on the back. Same way, make them like a square at the top. All right, and if you want to trim these little corners that are kind of sticking out, you can just barely trim those if you want. So they don't show on the front of your heart. See, you kind of have a pattern on both sides. All right, then to make sure that they stay in really nice and they don't slide around, I'm gonna take my glue stick and all these little ends, I'm just gonna put some glue under them. Stick them down so they don't slide out. You can decorate this heart. There's another thing that you can do if you want to weave some more. You can weave some pieces in this direction. Or you can decorate your heart with markers. You can draw like a lacy edge around it. I'm going to show you how to weave those other pieces in if you want to make it even more fancy. Okay, now that we got this weaving down and we know how to do it, you can add even some more woven pieces in. I got three more pieces I'm going to weave going this direction. So I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna actually weave it under this. And there, sometimes these are a little bit too fat to fit under there, so I'm gonna just trim these with my scissors, make them just a little bit skinnier. So that I'm just cutting just a little tiny bit off the edge so they're a little bit skinnier. All right, then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna weave it under here. See how it's going under this. even that up.
Okay, friends, there's a beautiful Valentine heart for someone special in your life. You could write a message on the back and tell them how much you love them. Hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. See you next time.